Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. And in today's video, we are opening a Thread Up Coach mystery box. Hi, welcome to my ah. channel, Texas Gal Treasures. Oh, YouTube. In today's video, you and I are going to have to have words, YouTube. Anyway, today I'm opening a Coach Thread Up box. If you guys are new to Coach Box, or uh, not Coach Box, but Thread Up, Thread Up is an online um, kind of like consignment store, but when people, when things don't sell, they frequently have rescue, rescue boxes or reject boxes, um, things that they either don't put up on their site or I think things that maybe didn't sell in the correct amount of time. And so they do this with them. Um, so this is not a sponsored video. I say that just because I, I have had people asking me like, what is this thread up thing that you are doing? What is that? Um, so yeah, <sighs> I enjoy it. Now, um, anyway, before I get started with the coach one, they're not available right now. So these ones are limited time. So when they have them on their site, on their rescue, um, this is the box, this is the ginormous box I have. When they have them, um, they, they tend to sell out fairly quickly. Not as quickly as the some of the jewelry rescue boxes, but um, they sell out pretty quickly. They're 90 bucks and you get five coach pieces in it and four purses. And then the last piece is a wallet or a wristlet or a small coach piece. I should have brought some water, my throat's dry now. Um, but anyway, I'm really excited because I got, actually I got one I opened already and I bought two at that time. And then when they came back, I ordered another one. So actually I have two boxes sitting here. Um, I've been cleaning up my workroom. Those of you that are here, hi in the chat. Let me say hey real quick. Um, hey, Debbie and Tracy. Hi, Lydia. Hello, Melissa. Hello, Princess Castro and Holly. Thanks for coming, you guys. Hello, MLA Mercedes. Nice to see you. Hi, hi, Martha and Cheryl. And that's Sassy. Nice to see you. Oh, I should have brought some water. My throat is so dry. Anyway, okay. So let's do this. I did, as I've been cleaning up my workroom, it's a big giant mess, but um, I've found, well, not found. I knew I had these three other thread up boxes that were like the 30 piece boxes. And I thought it was, that was all it was, but I have one of the 10 pound boxes that I never opened because that's how messy my room is. So I'm going to have to do that one. I didn't have enough time to do it right now, but I, I have that. I think I, did I have to do the last one over two videos? Cause it was like two gallon bags. It was a lot, uh, but yeah, I've got a 10 pound box. But then the last time I'm, I'm babbling right now, but when they reissued the boxes, cause they were doing 10 pound jewelry rescue boxes for 20 bucks, I think is what it was. But then when they, they put them out again, it wasn't 10 pounds anymore, was it? I didn't get the, the next round of them, but it was like five pounds or something. I can't remember. You guys will have to help me remember. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay, but we're here for coach. And also what I understand is they're supposed to be real coach. I think they're, that ThreadUp is um, it's supposed to verify them. And if they end up sending something that's not a true coach first, that it's supposed to, they're supposed to make it right or whatever like that. Okay. Anyway, it was five pounds. How much was the five pound one? I didn't get one of those. Darn it. By the time I found out, they were already sold out. I get such cool stuff, even though I'm like, it, it's billed as, you know, crafting or whatever. I bet I get really good stuff in them. Sometimes it's not a, always great, but anyway, it's fun. It's for fun. Um, so my goal, I'm scooting over, I'm on this bench and so I'm scooting over so I can open this for you guys and have it sitting next to me. But my goal, when I get these coach boxes, one, you guys know I'm a reseller. So I resell, um, but I'd like to find at least one piece in the box that I would personally keep and then, you know, either have the rest that I can resell or to make my money back or to, you know, gift or give away or something like that. Yeah, totally. Princess Castro. People get great stuff or crappy stuff. It's a dice. It's a crap shoot y'all, but it's a fun one, right? It's still fun. Um, Hello, hello. Hi in the chat. Oh, hey. All right. Coach time. Hey, Julia. How's it going? All right, so we are opening this one up. First up is, let's see what we got. It's a nice like little, what, what would you say that's tan or khaki? Like a nice little tan crossbody. And you guys know, I've talked about this before. I prefer the coach bags that are like the nice leather ones over the fabric or I don't know, can't other ones. So this is actually pretty nice. So it's a nice little, it's in good shape. There's a little hang tag on it. Nice little coach. And then it's got this, 
what do you call that? It's like belt material, but it's not. This kind of um, strap, so it's adjustable. I mean, that's a good little crossbody, I think, you know? I don't wear a lot of tan stuff, though, so it's not really me. Somebody's gonna love it. It's just not me. Okay, here's a conundrum. Don't usually the coach bags have like the the thing inside the you know what I'm talking about? It's got like that rectangular words. The rectangular thing inside that says like the serial number and all of the coach blah 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 blah. This doesn't have that. Do you think it's just because of the size? Or do you think it's just nonsense? What do you think? The tag with the numbers. Look, this one says made in China. Ooh. What do we think about that, peeps? What do we think about that? The rest of it looks good. Like, I would think it's a real coach. Yeah. I mean, I, because look at the quality. First of all, the quality looks really, really good. So I would not suspect it's a fake. Do coach bags say made in China on the inside, though? You know what I mean? Maybe. I know. Question mark? We're going to have to do some digging because look, I mean, look at the, the hardware looks good. Though There's no, like, freight. You know, usually some, some knockoffs are really cheapy looking, but, like, the leather looks really nice. There's no, like, frayed little bits of whatever poking out. Like, it looks nice, but then there's no creed and number serial number and then there's like this made in china tag so that's a question i don't know it looks good though if it's a fake it's a good fake except for that you'd think if they were going to go to all the trouble to make it look this nice they would have put a fake like thing in the middle this is me smacking my face you know is the tag on the outside but there's the tag that one it's just like a little that kind of tag doodad. I think the newer ones are made in China. It might be from an outlet. I think they stopped the creed for a while. Ooh, okay. I mean, because it does look like good quality. Oh, coach. These are the problems I just don't know about. Who? We need Thelma. We need Thelma. I'm paging Thelma Thrift. Help me, Thelma Thrift. You're my only hope. Okay. No, not my only hope. But anyway, thank you for helping me in the chat, too. Hey, everybody. <clears throat> I'm looking to see. Um, yes, yes, they are supposed to have a serial number. So I'll have to find out because Princess Castrol says they, she thinks they maybe stopped doing that for a while. I mean, it looks really good though. Like it looks like it's nicely done. And if you were going to make a fakey knockoff, would you really advertise it and be like, and boom, made in China. You know what I mean? You'd probably leave that out, right? I don't know. Okay. Well, well. We'll just put a question mark in that one. Right, Gabby? It looks real, right? It looks brand new almost. Exactly. <clears throat> Pardon me for that. Yeah, that leather logo thing in the middle. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. I like it, though. I wish it was a different color because it's not my style. Okay, here's another one. Boom. So we've got this. I mean, I love the size of this one. It's a nice, big... It's got the C's all over it, though. Let me get these out because they're going to drive me nuts. Like... Crunch, 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 crunchy, crunchy. Okay, so this is one of those that, mm, I mean, it's a nice, a nice size, a nice bag. The inside's a nice blue color. Um, What am I going to say? This is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about for the other one, you know? Hi, Anna, how's it going? How many people do we have? How many friends? Hey, guys, go hit the thumbs up. It, for whatever reason, it doesn't tell me that we're here anymore. So that's what I'm talking about. So this one's got a nice blue interior. I'll have to look this one up. I can look it up by the, the serial number, right? That's the problem with the other one. I don't have a serial number to look it up with. So I can you accidentally summon me. No, I did not accidentally summon you. Siri. Okay. But that was polite of her to ask. Anyway, so it's got this nice blue inside, and I love the center pocket, right? They really do a good job cleaning them out. The last batch I got were really super clean on the inside, and I was very curious as to how they did it. 49. Oh, thank you, Debbie. I was like, what is that, 49? Um, But I think, what do you guys think? Is this the one you think they sold, like, in the, in the outlet store or in the, like, main coach store? I think the ones that were kind of like this were from the outlet store, right? Generally generally speaking 
That's what I think anyway. There's a closed zipper, and that's like an invitation for fun, I think. Nope, nothing's in there. Darn it. You always hope they forget something, right? Not always, but you know, it's always a nice surprise. This one's a little bit, it's got a little bit of staining on the inside. Just a little bit. But overall, it's pretty good. I need to find out how they clean them out, though. Okay, let's see. Um, what? Okay, I don't, hang on. I don't know what that means. All right. Oh, wow. Purses with wrappers and tissues in them. <laughs> well, you know, one time, Christine, I was telling Julia this. I was at a, we went, I think I, I may have done this in a video, but I had gone to a bunch of garage sales and at one garage sale, I picked up some like purses and wallets and stuff. And, you know, you get home and you start looking through your loot. And then in one of the wallets, there was like a bunch of gift cards. You know, and I was telling I was telling them yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, it was. And one of the kids asked, "Well, did you take them back?" I was like, "I didn't remember which house it came from." So no, I didn't. Ah, you have one similar. Julie says that and she bought it in an outlet. Okay, I mean it's nice. I love the size of it, but I know I'll never carry it because I don't like the C's all over it. That's just me. That's just me. Ooh, all right. Number three looks like it might be a keeper. Yeah, one. It's green. Two, let's get whatever's inside of there out because that's going to make me crazy. All right, so look at this one. Oh, yes. Hello, my green beauty. You aren't as clean as the rest. Look at you. You've got some, is that crusties or is that just worn down leather? Let's lick it and find out. Nope. <laughs> crusties, it is. No, I can um, clean that off probably <laughs> or not. We'll find out. I don't want to touch it. Okay, I'm going to touch it. I lied. I'm touching it. I'm going to smell it. it. smells like leather. I think, I think it's, y'all didn't see that. I got to find out. I think it's just scuffs. I think it's little scuff marks in the leather. Cause like, boof, it boofed, boofed right out. <laughs> yeah. Come on. You would have done the same thing or not. Whatever. Um, I got to build my immunity up y'all. These are like fancy bacterias from who knows where that will help me build my immune system. Don't you care about my health? Don't you? You want me to be healthy, right? Okay. <laughs> anyway, so what color? I mean, it's green, but what kind of green would you say that is? It's, hey, you surprised me. <sighs> oh, I was, I was trying to decide if that was like scuffed up or if it was like crusties that I needed to lick. To get some like yeah. antibodies. <laughs> You'll thank me later. Uh, <laughs> Don't really. I'm joking. Okay, okay, okay. Child. Okay. <clears throat> Anywho's. Now we'll all have the antibodies or the plague. <laughs> One or the other. Okay. So um, I don't know. It's kind of like a. I know it's coming across differently on camera, but it's almost like a. A. A sea green, like a blue, there's a slight bluish green to it. I don't know. So I like that it's got these hand straps, so I can carry it like a satchel. And then it's also got this, so you can carry it like a regular purse. And then the hardware looks nice. I like the silver hardware usually more than the gold. Hang on, <laughs> you have a purse like that, but it's oh, it's pink. Nice. Okay, right? Isn't the size nice, Dreamweaver? Oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh, good, Cheryl. Aim to please. Um, and okay, so let's look at the inside. The inside is like a pinky lavender color, and it's got like the green matching. I like this one. This is gonna be my keeper. Um, because I like the just the solid and then the sturdy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, you like that? I, I haven't do they have they had Kate Spade stuff? I haven't looked. I will have to look. I just had I just ordered a, another 30 piece jewelry box because I had some I had some like like friends use my link. I have a link down below if you buy something. 10% or $10 off your first order or your order. I don't know if it's your first order or your order. Anyway, there's a link down below. You get 10, I get 10. So I, I used up my my tens that I had and I got another box. Woohoo! So yeah, I like this one. I keep wanting to do like that with it, but the strap's not long enough. But I like it. Okay, that's for me. <laughs> so far, that's good. I mean, come on, that was worth the 90 bucks, right? <clears throat> Let's see what's next. Ooh, 
Next up is a little wristlet purse. Again, we gotta take this out because that's gonna drive me crazy. You know you have sounds. Tell me in the chat since we're talking. <sighs> or if you're watching later, tell me like everybody has these sounds that just drive them bananas. Like the fingernail on the chalkboard, but not that, but something else. For me, you ready for it? The, th the sounds that make me crazy. One, are these crink the crinkly? That, that, look, it drives pancake nuts too. Also, fan noises. Not like overhead, like bat bedroom fans, but like the kitchen fan, the bathroom fan, that like, that white noise, fan. like that, that, that noise. I can't, I can't focus. I can't, yeah, I can't. That's what I do. That is it. Yeah. So tell me what the, uh, Drippy faucets and rattling in my car. Yes. And Mimi over there, I don't know, she's not, she likes to drink out of the faucet, so I'll turn it on just slightly for her. But then I will. It'll, I'll just see that sound. Can I? If you're not drinking, it's going off, girl. Yeah. Okay. So, so here we go. Back on track. So we've got this little wristlet, which is super duper cute. Here's the only problem here. Okay. Here's the back. Let me show you the back. And it zips, which is great. I love this part. Maybe if my phone would fit. Let's see if my phone fits in it. Look, no. Here we. Here's how we know it's my phone. It's got me on it. My phone doesn't fit. I don't smoke anymore, so I can't put my smokes in there. All right. And then the big part. The big part's nice. <clears throat> but can you guess my problem with it? Well. Knowing me, I wouldn't snap it correctly. Look at that. And then it would just like bop and everything would go Whoa, all over the floor. Blah. Right? So I I like this one. It's really cute. It's got a nice little classy look to it. If you can get the view of it without my light. It's in really good shape. Like so. Ta -da. But I probably I really like it though. Why couldn't you have a zipper right here? But a zipper right here, I feel a lot more confident. Because then I can put my phone in that part, right? Phone's going in. And then boom. But watch. Oh, <laughs> watch. I mean, watch. Oh, look what happened. <sighs> so annoying. Anyway, anyway. Kaylee says you can't stand the sound of the dog collar shaking. Ah. Oh. Lydia likes the crinkling noises. I think too, it's like that ASMR, right? The, that ASMR. We can do an AS. Well, ASMR the next one, just for you, Lydia. Hey guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open the next coach box for you, Lydia. Sorry, y'all. That was louder than I anticipated. If you were getting your ASMR kicks on that one and I just popped in your ear, I'd like to apologize. I wish I could go back and like warn you in advance that that's going to happen, but this is live, so I can't. So just for that, I'll crinkle a little more for you. There. Okay. Next. All right. This is the fifth one. Okay. Did it pop as loud for you as it did for me? Was it as loud for you as it was for me? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm looking to see. Hey, how's it going, Dylan? <laughs> uh, mm, uh, what else? I'm looking for other noises. Oh, a loud refrigerator. Crickets. Oh, I missed them up here. Oh, darn. Okay. The vent over the stove noise. Yeah, that. Yes, yes. Fuzzy staticky radio sound. Crickets. A loud refrigerator. Wow, that sassy. What do you do in the summer, man? The crickets are bananas here. I mean, we get crickets <clears throat> a lot. I'm just like, how do you do? How do you deal with that? I don't know. Okay, so here's the last purse. The color's cool, but it's way more worn than I would have liked to see. But it is a rescue box. Okay, here we go. So here it is. One. The color is kind of like this eggplanty purple, which is cool, right? That's good. Two, positive, it's that thick leather that I like. It's really got that thick, thick leather, you know? Um, 
See, I like I like the ones like this because they're just classic, right? Like so. Now, it's got, oh, hey, some receipts. Let's see where they shop. Not so good at cleaning this one out, huh? Let's see. This one's from, darn it, Belleville. Where is that? Bellevue, Washington. Okay, Bellevue, Washington. Where'd you shop? What is this? Uh, they, pay, they paid with a visa, whatever it is. I can't tell. Oh, Taco Time. Taco Time something. Oh, Taco Time Factory. They spent $5.46 at Taco Time Factory and also more at Taco Time Factory. This is a separate trip. All right, Taco Time, you must be good. Because this is, you know, this one was paid with a MasterCard. This one's a Visa. Somebody's running up their credit cards on Taco Time. I guess that, that makes sense. Okay. So, all right. Now, here's another thing. There's a lot more wear on this one. Like, the bottom's kind of junky. The corners, the leather's kind of, like, really messed up. Hey, darling. Taco Time is the best, Vintage Sense, it says. Okay. All right, shout out to Taco Time. Send me tacos, but not cold ones. Make sure they stay warm because Texans don't eat cold tacos. No, I'm going to stick with that. <laughs> I was going to retract that, but I can't. I'm going to stick with that. Okay, then on the back, there's some more. I'm not going to lick that one. I'm going to tell you why. Ready? It's white. And there are lots of things that are white that I wouldn't want in. I wouldn't want to lick. Anyway, so there's, you know, this is kind of not as clean on the inside. It's like they gave up. They didn't even try with this one. I'm so disappointed, but that's okay. Look, there's more white ugh, inside. I mean, it could be yogurt. That goes bad. Look at all that. I, no, 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 no. Okay. And. Let's look at the inside of this part. It's like they just missed a section. That part looks good. I think maybe the person who was cleaning the purse didn't realize there was an outside pocket. Okay. <clears> Thank <throat> you, want tacos. Uh, there is a zipper. Wait. Yes, there is a zipper on the inside. So that's the zipper part on the inside. It's got that nice leather. I mean, I guess somebody who they could clean that leather up. And then I think there are people that could know how to repair that, you know, because it's leather. You can refinish it and re condition it and all that good stuff you don't think they clean them the other ones were super clean and the last box i got there i was like wow how they do this this one not so much but it's got you know like i said it's in really good shape otherwise like it doesn't have lots of frayed little threads and stuff the taco secret sauce yeah <laughs> oh tacos i don't have tacos in a couple of days Did you guys have pie yesterday for pie day i had pie well don't tell Julia, but we have pie. We have pie today. I had a piece of pie anyway. You can come have pie later. <laughs> anyway, so there's that. Um, that is the fifth one. Okay, so uh, uh, I like getting it. Hang on. That's from yesterday, too. I like my green one. I'm going to keep that to carry, so that's a plus. Yay! And the others, I'm going to find out about the tan one, and then I'll see about selling the others, like what they would go for. Now, I do get people messaging me saying, hey, I really want that one that's got the white stuff on it. <laughs> How much do you want to sell it for? Um, if you are interested, if you do end up seeing something in one of the videos, as always, just message me on Facebook at TexasGalTreasures at gmail.com, which is my web, I mean, my my email there you go um some of the smaller ones don't have a serial number okay okay oh yeah cheryl uh cheryl, cheryl sorry yeah um i enjoyed having julia come hang out we have i have another bag here that we're gonna do sometime soon because there was some uh earring stuff that she wanted to see if the mate was in there and then there were a couple things from yesterday's video i don't want to see if the mate's in that one too so stay tuned did I show the coat? This? Yeah, I did. Um, what else was I going to say? Urgh. Oh, gosh. See what happens when I get off track? Now I can't remember. 
Welcome to my world. Um, if you haven't already, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures and Instagram at Texas Gal Treasures. And I think that's it. I've got some some more thread up stuff to do. I'm trying to get back on the, in the swing of things, getting these videos out. And I appreciate everybody's love and patience. And if you, you know, I've gotten a few messages along the way from people that have inquired as to where I've been and if everything's all right. Um, so no joy. That's yeah. This is it for today. Here, if you here, I'll show you the tray from yesterday. If you need your jewelry fix, here we go. There we go. No, no, darling. I am the captain of my destiny. Um, you didn't mess me up. I mess myself up all the time, all the time. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go because look, I'm not flipping you off. I'm just telling you now. Look at this. This has got to be remedied. ASAP. This is how things have been since I haven't been talking to you. I haven't even gotten my nails done. So I need to go take care of business. What color should I get you guys? Since I'm asking you, <clears throat> it's March. We're almost, we're mid, what, what is today? We're mid-March. It's the Ides of March. Beware the Ides of March is what they say. But <sighs> should I go back to the blue? Should I have pink? I thought about green, but then I was like, that might not look very good. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening for the chat. Christine says green. I might do green because like St. Patrick's Day is what this weekend, right? So it can like punch a leprechaun or something, right? Match my new purse. Orange. I did that at Halloween. Remember when I had the orange? It was like, wait, no, was it orange and green? What did I do? What was it? It was like two colors. Aww. I wouldn't really punch a leprechaun. That was, have you, if, if any of you are watching American Gods, I read that by Neil Gaiman, there's a leprechaun in that and he's like a scrappy mofo. And um, so sometimes he needs a, he needs a punch in the face because he's a naughty leprechaun. <laughs> so anyway, it's good fun. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do green. It'll be a big surprise. You'll find out maybe tomorrow. Coral. Hmm. Okay. I will talk to you guys soon. Go over there and hit the thumbs up. Yes, thank you, Cheryl. I appreciate that. And if you're watching later, go down and say, hey, Margaret, I was here. Nice to see you. And I will talk to you later. Thanks, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye.